This is Cougar Conversations on Zoom, and we have our seniors from the Lady Cougars. We have Taylor Gregory, Rachel Perry, Jordan Campbell, Elizabeth Fee, and Haley Peters. How's everybody doing in Louisiana? Good, how are you? Good. Good. All right, let's talk about how you felt. You have been probably talking or thinking about the national tournament through your career, am I right? I mean, if, if you're honest, so you're in there, you're watching the screen, you see those words, Mount Vernon Nazarene University show up on the bracket. Tell me what was going through your heart and your mind. It was like you said, we've been talking about this since our freshman year. It's always been a goal to make it to nationals and to actually see that come to fruition. We were all just so excited. We were all shocked. I'm sure you've seen the video of our reaction. It was there's literally no words to describe it, but just to be able to be together as a team and experience that moment of excitement and like making history in the program was incredible. Awesome. Well, let's talk about prep work. Uh, you know, there's physical prep work, of course, going on. You've got to know about your team, but there's also some mental prep work that has to go on. Um, how are you getting ready for Friday night's game? Um, we've definitely stepped it up in practice. We've um, been practicing about every day for the last two weeks, and um, we've been doing some specific drills to try and mimic things that they'll do. Um, and then we mentally, we have our scouting reports and um, we have our binders full of our plays and our, um, our system. So it's really getting locked in that way so that we know what we're going to face. Now, one huge question, Taylor, is how are you? That's what everyone keeps asking us. So you tell us, how are you doing? Um, we're doing all right. We, um, I'm taking a lot of ibuprofen and taking it one day at a time. So, um, And are you going to play in the game on Friday? Because we're getting that question. I am going to try. Um, <laughs> I have a brace, so we'll brace up and see what happens. All right. Uh, this season has had a lot of ups and downs. Um, uh, many of your players have struggled with some injuries. We've had COVID, of course, uh, but we're going to move from the crazy uh, description of this season to historic because now you are there. You are at the big dance. So can you tell us what is one important lesson? And I want each of you to share about this. One important lesson that you have learned this season. I can go first. Um, I think just whenever I hear this question is thinking about every single like step that we've made um, and cherishing those. Um, obviously, it's been a crazy, you know, season, but like thinking of this in a historic sense, it's just like looking back over the season, we've had so many memories, like fun things and um, hard, challenging things that we've gone through. So just cherishing the good and the bad. Um, you know, because that's what has brought us to this point. And then how about you? Going off of that. So we have had a lot of setbacks this season, but I think the most important thing is we did not let that slow us down. Um, each time that something didn't go our way, we got to practice the next day and we fixed those problems and it's really paid off. Haley, how about you? A lesson you've learned. Yeah, I'm just really proud of the girls for how hard that they have worked this season. Like Jordan and Rachel said, it's been a tough season with injuries, with COVID. And I'm just really proud of them to see them persevere through all of those trials. And I think that as a whole team that we've just grown a lot through that. Okay. Taylor, a lesson for you. Um, I definitely think perseverance has been um, a lesson of the season um, with COVID and everything. And then honestly, with how we started the season, we weren't off to a good start. And then you look at us now and we're in the national tournament. So um, it's just, we've learned a lot and grown together um, and persevered through it all. And Elizabeth. Um, yeah, kind of going off of that, I think a big lesson we learned is it's not about how you start, it's how you finish, and we really took that to heart. I remember, I can't remember what game it was, but about halfway through the season, Kayla had the devotion before the game, and she said, um, 
uh, how do you eat an elephant white, but one bite at a time. And we knew that our goal was really big to get to nationals. And then we just came in practice and took a bite every day and just got better and better every day. And now we're here. That's good. <laughs> Let's talk about grit, your team culture. What does it mean to you, your seniors, you're at the national tournament. Is it, is it extra special right now for you? Yeah, I think it's definitely extra special to be here. And um, grit is something we've had for the past two years and we've really held on tight to it and we've gotten better and better at upholding those values every year. And I think just even though the stage has changed a little bit and we're on a bigger stage, we have to remain true to like godliness, responsibility, integrity and toughness um, and just let that shine through every play of the game. Well, you are seniors. I want you to share your hearts with us a little bit. How does it feel to be a senior at the national tournament, playing with this team, this team that we've even mentioned has faced so many challenges. Just share with us how, what's on your heart and what you have uh, to, to say there in Louisiana. And anybody can go. <laughs> I just think that it's like, for me, I'm so thankful for, you know, everyone, who has supported us with our families, with our fans. And um, just like our, like Sage said earlier, her teammates all, or her apartment mates always come. And mm -hmm. so it's just cool to see everyone has their own little su support system, but then we all come together and it's, it's really cool just to know that even though, you know, one game, maybe like someone doesn't have someone come, but they still have the support system of each, each of our teammates to um, help us through the game and just being there for each other um, throughout the season. I think uh, that this team is really unique and it's been a blessing just to have friendships and time on and off the court with each other. Okay. Anybody else want to share what's on your heart? I'm sure it's a little bittersweet, you know, you're a senior, you know, this is wrapping up your career, but wow, what a way to wrap up a career, right? Yeah, I definitely think it's just something super exciting and an incredible opportunity that we have to be here right now. Um, I'm just super proud of the girls for how hard they've worked, especially the seniors through the past four years. I know from day one, we said, we want to make it to nationals. We want to make it to nationals. And to finally see that happen, it's just really exciting. Well, seniors, we're going to give a shout out to Cougar fans. You are going to have them cheering for you all over the country and probably even in different parts of the world. So what message do you have for Cougar Nation? We just want to say thank you to everyone. Um, we've had a lot of highs and lows throughout the years and even this season. And we're just so thankful that everyone's held on with us and we kept fighting and we ended up here at the national tournament. So I think we're all super excited. Now I'm going to give each of you a chance to say thank you to your own personal support system and go ahead. I, I gave all the other girls this chance. You can go ahead and call them out by name. So, you know, mention mom and dad and all those wonderful people that are supporting you. So uh, we'll start over here with Rachel. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to my mom and dad and all my eight siblings and everyone that's in my family um, and my boyfriend Brady just that they've given me this opportunity as well as my grandparents um, just throughout my whole life playing basketball and I just wanted to thank you um, for supporting me and I love you guys so much. Okay Jordan. Um, I'll say thank you to my parents. Um, I've also, they've also never missed a game, whether um, it's in person or uh, now online. So that's super exciting and I'm so grateful for that. And then also my siblings, they always come when they can. And honestly, they're the reason that I'm playing at this level, always against them growing up. And so they've made me a great player. All right, Elizabeth, how about you? Um, I'd like to shout out my mom and my dad and my brother, um, my Grammy and Poppy and my Papa. They watch every game online and come to the ones if they can. And then my fiance, Trevor. Taylor? Um, I want to say thank you and give a shout out to my parents, uh, my mom and dad, and my fiance, Mikey. They're on their way. Their plane should be taking off soon. Um, and then my brother, who unfortunately couldn't make this trip, but um, 
my fiance's family, my grandparents, my, all my aunts and uncles and, um, all my family friends that are always there when they can be, or, um, are always watching online. So thank you to all of them. Okay. Haley. Um, I just want to thank my parents. Uh, although I haven't been able to play, they are still so, so supportive. They, um, are flying in tomorrow to come watch. Um, my sister and brother and my brother-in-law are also super supportive and my grandparents. So I'm very thankful for that. Well, ladies, it's been so fun to watch you and to cheer for you. I know we'll get emotional if we keep talking about it, but I just hope that you can cherish every moment of this experience and know that all of us on this side are so excited and so proud of you and so happy that you are getting this experience. So all I can say is, go Lady Cougars! <laughs>